This is really cool. I'm excited for this. Rishi actually playing Link. Three, cool. Two, um, so one, for those of you who don't go. know, Rishi actually originally hails from Melee, uh, aka Smash God. He's a really good Melee player. And he is one of the guys who, you know, really made a transition to Ultimate. And he's done some great things. Uh, we'll see how he fares against Mr. E, one of, I mean, just... just the perennial beasts of Tri-State. You know, it's been on PGR. Was he on PGR this last season? Uh, I think he is currently PGR. And then you have, like, the melee version of PGR, the Mayan Top 100. Rishi's definitely on that. Yeah. Oh. See, that was a position that maybe he should have done the upwards air dodge. Uh, like, when you're heading into the, like, really close to the blast one like that, sometimes that gives you just enough height that mm -hmm. you have an option to make it back a little more cleanly. Um, but, I mean, then again, that's like another universe, and Mr. E probably would have covered that option as well. I mean, this is Mr. E we're talking about. He is one of the best ledge trappers in the business. His, like, his ability to just cover... I, I don't even know if he covers all... It feels like he covers all the options because he always just hits the guy. All right, the last hit of that up be kind of giving Rishi some breathing room. Oh, but speaking of characters who have that <laughs> get at it disadvantage mash option, up B from Lucina is just so good at that. Also really smart from Mr. E, if you notice, he grabs the bomb on his way to the ledge, recognizing, you know, he's an expert ledge trapper, so he knows how powerful that bomb is when you're trapped on ledge. It just limits more options, which makes it that much easier for the, like, Link to do all that damage, so he just grabs it to remove it from the equation. Now Mr. E looking pretty confident. He's at 126%, but this is his first stock. And he's even going out there pretty deeply. All right. I can respect that. Uh, and in the end, Rishi manages to take his first stock against Mr. E. But 114% on his body. This is looking pretty rough for him. And the up out of shield is enough to do it. All right, so moving into game two, I think, I mean, we might, if you know, uh, okay, so Kalos was banned. Kalos is kind of underappreciated in how much it helps getting off the ledge against really good people who are really good at ledge trapping. The fact that those platforms are right above you, some characters can even, like, sort of do ledge jump, double jump, air dodge, you know, like a directional air dodge back to just land on the platform, you know, because... Even though being on a platform against somebody is not that great, it's significantly better than being on the ledge. And yeah, of course, you know, it can always be covered, but uh, having another option available to you, even if it's just one more, can really help the odds. And that's why Mr. Probably one of the reasons why Mr. E just straight up banned that stage. And instead, now, Rishi has to choose between uh, kind of a bunch of lackluster options. He opts to go for Final Destination. Uh, if this is the case, I really hope to see him do a little bit more projectile game. Uh, although Lucina is pretty good at, I mean, they have, she has really good ground speed, a very low run, meaning that sometimes it's going to be pretty tricky for Rishi to effectively wall uh, Mr. E out with projectiles. And on top of that, one thing that he might have to start worrying about is the juggle game. Because even, like, Mr. E might be one of the best ledge, uh, like, you know, ledge trappers in the world, but he is also an expert juggler. And if Mr. If, uh, if Rishi isn't prepared to find an effective way of getting down against him, this could turn out even worse. I don't know if he has a jump off stage. He's going to have to go for the bomb jump. He does, but a very beautiful for Mr. E. Just re rinse, recycle, repeat. I like that ledge attack. Mr. E was not really expecting it and it managed to finally get Rishi off the ledge. Let's see if he can get a lot of mileage off of it. Oh, that's so cool. Just making sure to get some extra damage, alleviate some more pressure with that arrow. But in the end, it wasn't enough. Rishi drops that first stock. He's looking a little bit better than game one, for sure. But <laughs> Mr. E just did a little hop in his seat. It's dead. Wow, beautiful. 
You know, I will say, coming from, I feel like the melee players who are, uh, you know, playing ultimate, they'll go for that sort of thing. They realize how powerful going off the level and trying to end your opponent's stock really early can be. And just great recognition from Rishi. He actually has the lead right now. It would look like a, another one-sided game. He has managed to make this up. Give it, he has a real fighting chance right now. Ah, uh, but the question is, what does he do here? Actually manages to get out of the corner. <laughs> Actually manages to get the kill. Fantastic stuff from Rishi. He seems to finally have mo some momentum, some control perhaps. But Mr. E, we know that that sort of thing can be short-lived against him. Once again, he's put on the ledge. This is cute for Mr. E, using the, uh, the bomb to try and cover a few more options. I really like the Nair usage. I feel like that's one thing that uh, Rishi has really started doing here. That Nair is it's just a really fast option. And Lucina does have pretty good frame data, but, you know, having a fast option that might, especially because the sorties in general want to more delay their aerials a little, you know, because Martha and uh, Lucina both have really high short hops. <gasps> what a beautiful tech! That, oh, that bomb jump was so good. That's something that, like, at the higher percents, having an access to that sort of ability, though, you know, just to recover really high with a bomb jump might be really useful. He could, especially at higher percents, avoid the ledge entirely. Mr. E reels back in his seat once more. 113% on Rishi and 88 onto Mr. E, but both of these players can die. There's so many options. He has him on the ledge once more. A forward throw, not gonna kill, but he's pushing him, putting him in that position. <gasps> this could be really big. Goes for a forward air. Oh, the slight angling of the shield. A forward tilt putting him off there once more. Oh, you notice Mr. E tried to cover the bomb jump that time, but Rishi was mixing him up. Another forward air. He's at 168%. Oh, and he reads the roll, gets the up air, and that's the set. That was so close in the end, but Mr. E's consistency shining through, recognizing that roll out of the corner that Rishi was doing quite a bit of, and finishes it off with that up air. That was actually a really good set.